Good morning everyone. Today we shall be taking you through the diagnostics for dry eye. In this video we shall be discussing the various tests in dry eye disease and the new instruments currently available for the same. Various tests for dry eye disease can be classified as assessment of tear film, assessment of tear volume, tear film stability and assessing the status of ocular surface. Tear film assessment can be done by Schirmer's test or the phenol red test. In Schirmer's test, Wattman strips are placed in the conjunctival fornix at the junction between the medial two-third and the lateral one-third of the lower lid. Patient can be allowed to blink normally, but more consistent results are obtained if the patient keeps his eyes closed. This avoids environmental variables such as illumination, temperature and humidity. The length of the moistened area is read at the end of 5 minutes. The tear volume assessment can be done by estimating the tear meniscus height. This can simply be done on slit lamp with the adjustments available on the reticule. But for a repeatable and accurate result, a machine known as the oculus is useful. This captures the image of the eye and subjectively measures the meniscus height with the cursor. Normal values are between 0.1 to 0.3 mm. Tear film stability is the most important indicator of tear film dysfunction and can be assessed by either noting the tear film breakup time on slit lamp after application of fluorescein into the patient's eye and waiting for the appearance of the first dry spot. It can also be done by a non-invasive method on oculus where no fluorescein installation is required. It is a more precise and repeatable method. The patient is asked to blink two times and is then asked to hold the blink as long as he can. An image is captured and the measurement is displayed in seconds with graphical display of dry spots. The lipid layer assessment can be done on an instrument known as Lipiview Interferometer. It gives a real-time visualization of lipid layer to evaluate the dynamic response of lipids to blinking. Patient entries are done as shown. The visuals provide an opportunity to educate the patient about their personal ocular health. The patient is asked to comfortably rest her chin and keep looking straight and continue to blink normally. After proper centration, the test is started. Once the centration and measurement of both the eye is done, the machine displays the analysis, which would be as follows. The normal values are between 70 to 100 for normal lipid layer thickness. Assessment of mebonian gland status is known as mebography, which is also a function available in the lippy view. It distinctly images the mebonian gland structure in high definition. A film of trans illuminator is applied to the cutaneous side of the everted lid, which then projects white light and allows for observation from the palpable conjunctival surface. Mebonian glands appear as white structures against a dark background. The tarsal conjunctiva of both the lids must be exposed adequately to take a better picture. Status of ocular surface can be assessed by staining techniques such as fluorescein, wherein the tear film is stained with fluorescein dye and patient is asked to blink a couple of times. The patient is then asked to not blink. The time taken for the first dry spot to appear is recorded in seconds. The test is repeated thrice and average value is calculated. Fluorescein staining also helps to look at the surface for presence of any punctate keratopathy, erosions and surface irregularities. Assessment of tear film osmolarity is important since it forms a major part of ocular hemostasis and is suggested to be the primary cause of ocular discomfort and surface damage in dry eye patients. We perform it with an instrument known as the tear lab. Here we attach a test card onto the tear lab pen. The pen will light up and beep when the card is attached properly. 
the green light will stay on until you collect tears or the pen times out while holding the pen remove the test card cover just before tear collection collect the tear fluid sample by having the probe tip come just in contact with the tear film place the pen into the reader within 40 seconds and the reader displays the results in few seconds normal values are said to be below 308 milliosmoles per liter and an interocular difference of less than 8 milliosmoles per liter is normal hence from this video we learned about the various tests available for dry eye disease diagnostics hope you got an overview for the same keep learning ahead thank you